Welcome back, everyone. We have been talking about the dangerously cold temperatures heading our way tomorrow. And this kind of weather is, is, has an especially harsh impact on the homeless in our community and boosts the need for donations to shelters. Joining us this morning are Asha Morell and Tracy Giles from COTS to talk about how you can help the shelter. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. So, you know, especially around this time of year when we're talking about these temperatures and just how dangerously cold it is, mm -hmm. we were talking that just in the first two days of this year, you guys actually had to turn away dozens of people because you were so full. Absolutely. There are over, on any given night, over 19,000 homeless people in the city of Detroit. Mm -hmm. And there are multiple shelters across the city. Um, COTS, we really work hard to try to bring people into a program that will help them find a plan for sufficiency and moving on to long-term housing. Um, so, unfortunately, as the year started, we were turning families away at the very beginning. Um, and what we're doing now is working with partner agencies to provide shelter and, um, you know, covering from the elements to keep them out of this bitter cold until we're able to place them into, into um, shelter and then long-term housing. And Tracy, you know what this is like because you actually got help from COTS. Tell us about that and how you ended up with them. Well, ironically, I entered COTS uh, during the winter, um, during December of 2011, and I was quite fortunate um, to be able to get immediate uh, housing. They actually had a bed um, for me. So first I, I want to say that because I entered uh, just prior to Christmas Eve mm -hmm. and COTS provided for me um, a great support system. Everyone from direct care staff to uh, the executive uh, personnel helping me with the resources that I need to make contact with who eventually became my employer at this time. Wow, and you were telling me earlier that prior to this you had gone from shelter to shelter. You just landed on some rough times and had lost your job and now you're up You're on your feet, working. right? Yes. Yeah. And quite helpful. That's terrific. And uh, Asha, talk to us too about how obviously donations are something that would help you, but people might be wondering, okay, well, if I donate, how quickly will it help people? Donations will help right away because we're able to actually transition people from the emergency shelter into transitional housing. COTS has a wide array of transitional housing options. Mm -hmm. Apartments, independent homes that we work with, um, landlords across the city to be able to position people up from the emergency shelter and then into transitional housing and then put them on a plan for long-term housing. And just so how critical is it to get it's those donations very, now? very, very critical. Um, you know, the holiday Day is has recently passed and people support you know greatly during the holiday but then oftentimes it tapers off that support is is necessary every day so that we can continue to help house people as quickly as possible and right now you are at capacity we are at capacity but again we are working with other um, organizations right now to provide that immediate shelter and that covering until we're able to get them into our programs to be able to house them so and along with uh, donations uh, also blankets hats coats scarves anything of that nature and it, it's all very very helpful all right Asha and Tracy, thank you so much for being thank here. You.